Good morning my friends, I hope you're well. Today's video we're going to demonstrate how to add liquidity on PancakeSwap. So it's actually very simple, we're going to be adding V2 liquidity. I've deployed a smart contract on WeLaunchIt which is free to use. Very simple, it just deploys your contract for you. So I've already done that, I've deployed it. Now, to add liquidity we're going to go to PancakeSwap, we're going to click Earn, go to Farms and we are going to create a pool. Afterwards, if you want to add V3 liquidity, which I would advise, you would go to add liquidity and search the smart contract. So copy your contract, click create pool, go to V2. Now we are going to click our token here and import it. What we are going to do is we are going to select whatever you want to pair it with. Most people, 99% of people will pair it with BNB, which is fine. Now the starting price is totally up to you, depending on how you want to play it. So if you type in either this way or the other way, I can't remember which one it is, but if you want to add, let's say $20 LP, it will say this much. So if you click the full amount or how much you want to add, let's say you want to add half of it, that's how much you will need. So you need to adjust accordingly. So I want to add two more zeros to add half. So if I want to add double that, I would just add a two. Now this sets your market cap at pretty much $13 or whatever. It will be about $20. So you can put that up or you can put that down accordingly. So it's whatever you want it to be, however you want, adjust it accordingly. Enable your contract, because it's the first time using it, and then we're just gonna add liquidity, like so. Check everything's fine, it should show up here. It will always say this because it's a new contract. And then we're gonna confirm. So our liquidity should be successfully added and you can go to my positions here and you'll be able to see your liquidity. Sometimes there is a delay coming up. Now, if you search your contract on Dex Screener, chances are it will not be showing up in terms of your liquidity here because there is no trading volume. So you'll have to buy some trading volume. So here is my BNB test CA. So you can come here, you'll be able to see it. Once there's trading volume, it will show up there. But if you're scared or you want to pull it out, or you've done something wrong or you're just testing, you can pull it out here. Make sure it's either as receive wrapped BNB because sometimes it will get stuck. Make sure you do that when you do remove liquidity. Obviously, if you want to lock, you can use a locker and go from there. So our token isn't up here. If you do really want to see it, I think Dex Tools will show it even without trading volume. So you can go up here and you can copy it here and you can make sure your liquidity is actually in here. So like so, there is no trading volume. Remember, test the contracts out first before you do a launch, make your adjustments, come here and then you can obviously do your purchases like so. There's no liquidity in this, but you get the idea. Hope this video has helped you. And if you have some supply behind, I would highly, highly advise, just very quickly, adding a V3 liquidity pool. So we kept some supply behind. You might want to do it in USDT, for example. You want to add it here. It's probably not going to load. PancakeSwap is overloaded, but it's pretty much the same thing. Do a full range and add your liquidity in at a low market cap. So just as you launch. This way, you incur a lot of fees. So similar to Solana you'll receive creator fees. So you know a lot of tokens have creator fees there. This is basically like another tax, but this is a tax at LP level and you can charge 1%. Sorry, it's not loading. PancakeSwap is terrible at the moment, but you can add a 1% fee. It will show here or here. You'll have to initiate the pool, click full range, click here and here, and then enable add liquidity and you'll have two liquidity pools. That way, this one will be earning a 1% tax, but your token will show zero tax because at contract level, we put 0% tax, but at liquidity level, we'll have 1% and you'll get a lot of volume in this and you'll get a lot of gains as well later on because people will be buying your token for USDT and you end up with a bucket load of USDT. I wish you guys all the best and take care.